unpacking when you first look at it might just look like a basic home design game but when you play it you realize that there's actually a lot of story elements uh, in the game and there's actually a full story there that is kind of hidden and not like straight up just shown so that's kind of cool throughout the game you follow this unnamed girl as she moves from house to house and you unpack her stuff in each house or each room and that's basically the whole game Nineteen ninety-three. You start by unpacking her childhood bedroom, unpacking toys, books, and pictures, and you also start to notice that she has a love for art because there's a lot of art stuff. Two thousand and four. She moves out of her parents' house and into a dorm, getting ready to start classes in a few days. You also start to notice different items that consistently appear throughout the game, like this stuffed pig and a book that I later realized is the book that you pick at the beginning of the game as your save file. 2007, she moves out and into a house or apartment with roommates. Of course, the pig showed up again, and it seems like her and her roommates play D&D, and those figurines and books stay with her until the end as well. In 2010, she then moves in with who I'm assuming to be a boyfriend. This stage is very difficult because you have to try to fit all of her stuff in around the boyfriend's stuff and there's not much room. I also noticed that all the boyfriend stuff is a shade of grey, black, and basic colors compared to all her stuff which is much brighter colors, more colors of the rainbow than the boyfriend's. 2012, this one took me by surprise, she moved out of the boyfriend's house and into her old childhood bedroom, the one from the first level. She probably had nowhere to go after, I'm assuming, to be a breakup. 2013 now, and after moving out of her parents' house again, she gets her own house. You basically get an empty house and a bunch of boxes with stuff in it, and it feels like the first time you could really decorate everything without having a kind of limit to it because you have all the different rooms to decorate and that's kind of cool. 2015. This time, you're not unpacking the boxes that you've been unboxing the whole time. This time, they're white. As you're unpacking this mysterious person's stuff, you start to realize that this is a significant other that has moved in with the main character and still doesn't have a name. 2018. The last level, 2018, the main character and her new partner move into a house together. This time, both the white and brown boxes are together. This shows that unlike the early relationship where she could barely fit herself in, she has found someone to settle down with as their stuff slowly combines as they become a family. Aww. But probably the biggest change in this level is the baby. In the baby room, you unpack stuff for their child. This also includes the pig that the girl has kept with her the whole time and re-gifted and gave to her child. 've only ever moved once in my life at the moment and I was a little child so I don't really remember it at all as of currently I still live with my parents which means I will have to move out one day at least I hope I don't want to live in my parents basement forever I feel like when you're younger you think about moving out as being this cool thing where you can get your own free dollhouse basically and you just decorate it however you want you can live there forever and do whatever you want only it was that easy. There's also a sense of uncertainty, not knowing where she's going to end up next. This is really shown when she moves in with the boyfriend, and the next level she's back at her parents' house in her old bedroom. The relationship was good enough that she decided to move in with him, but yet it still didn't work out in the end, and she was left with nowhere to go other than her parents' house. Not knowing what the future holds can be very scary. I did this school project about a future career that we would be interested in, 
We have to research about the education you Where need. Where is the, the job? Pay? What skills do you need? Do you need any special training? Are you sure you're really interested in this? Before it was a simple, what do you want to do when you grow up? And you would just answer whatever you thought was cool at the time. I didn't know we needed to know that much right now. But I'm probably just being overdramatic. It's not that bad. We really don't have to go too in-depth on everything. But I bet it's only going to get harder from here. So I'll enjoy the easy stuff while I got it. You watch the main character as she moves from house to dorm, to living with roommates, to living with a boyfriend, back to her parents' house, to apartment, and finally setting down in her own home with a family of her own. When you just play the game without paying attention to the details, you could miss how good the story really is. And it doesn't matter how old you are, you can relate the story to yourself because we watch her as she goes through all ages, from being excited to get her own room, to starting her first day of classes. This game is very chill, and it only took me about an hour and a half to complete, but there's also extra achievements that you can earn. In fact, I went back and 100% uh, at the game after I completed the main playthrough. This is a very good game, and I definitely recommend playing it for yourself.